got down just before light, six o'clock. I had a quick walk around the lake, seen showing fish to the left in the margin as soon as the sun started to come out and it really, really got warm. It's a peg of fish quite often before, so um, I've seen them regular, swimming up and down the margins. Um, there's no pegs to that side of the bank, but a lot of people tend to cast to the far margin from the other side. So I thought to come down this peg where I've seen showing fish, that's one to the left of me, and I've shot one to the right, down both margins, and uh, see if we can pick any out. I'm just feeling about now for the uh, middle rod with a marker to see uh, if we'll find any clear patches or anywhere good to put a rig. Chucked it about 20 yards out. I feel a bit of gravel. And probably a couple of foot off the gravel. It's got a bit of silt. I've chucked it in the middle of the tree lines. Just for if I get run in the night, I know where to cast. About twenty yards in front, I finally found a uh, gravel patch with a bit of silt. I'm just going to uh, put a rig down just just on the silt using a uh, runny runny rig with a pop up just popped up. I'm just going to put three spoms over each rod. I tend to put three spoms out at first. It just seems to get quicker bites. Right, then I'm just going to uh, add a bit of Benoffi liquid to me. Spod mix. Give that a bit of bit of flavour and attraction. Mix that 
Čo? Good mix. Pop a bit more in.
at them. So, got another little common weighing nine pound. Nine pound on the nose. And the IQD rig, two pieces of corn. Lovely little common. Show you, the Ooh. Show you the other side. About two in the night. Is it now? Probably about half past eight in the morning now. About two in the night. And lost one. And a couple yesterday, about six yesterday, so. Like in the spot mix. We'll get her back in, see if we catch some more. Thursday morning, half past seven. Um, not a lot to tell you really. Um, I've not had anything since yesterday, about three o'clock. It was really quiet through, through the night, and uh, nothing through the night. So yeah, a bit bit quiet. Um, I managed to blag another night off the missus. Cost me a bottle of wine, but all worth it. Um, so uh, while it's quiet, I'll uh, take, show you through, talk you through the rigs that I've been uh, catching the fish on. Right then, so this one here is the uh, spinner rig or Ronnie rig, whichever people like to call them. It's on the um, 
hybrid leg clips, quarter leg clips. Put the tail rubber just on the edge, just so it can drop the lead in case it gets snagged up, the lead will drop off. With a bit of silicon tubing over the top, tight with the uh, IQ, uh, with the quarter boom, sorry. I think it's 25 pound with the 0.6 mil crimps at each end. Bit of putty over the crimp with the uh, crank size six crank hook. With a rig stop that will just sit up just like that off the bottom with a pop up can see that and the other rig that I've been using is the IQD rig probably about seven inches long S similar again with the quick change Quick change leg clips. Just there. On the edge, just so it'll drop the lead. Always wet it with a bit of saliva as well, so it comes off easier. This one's the 15 pound IQ. A bit of a sinker. Just to keep, just to keep the uh, the old link on the bottom, and then going to the end is the size six curved shank hook. I used to tie these with with the D rig, but I thought just to be a bit quicker, I could just put a tungsten tungsten. Uh, hook bead stop and then that also helps the hook sit on the bottom flat on the bottom and that's the uh, rigs that I've been using well then as I was saying I haven't had anything since I think it was 3 4 o'clock yesterday nothing through the night and then 9 o'clock this morning the rod rips off Bit lively this one. I didn't bother weighing it. It's only uh, a little one. Nice little mirror though. This was down the margin again on the um, IQD rig that I shown you. And two pieces of corn. Over particle, lovely little mirror. We'll put her back and see if we can get some more.
Hopefully this time we won't lose it. Over my other line, keep it over the top of my line. That's it. Not a very big one, but. Out the weeds, come up. It's a nice, nice common. to get in the net. Get in that net. Ooh. Come on, come on. Jumped out the top of the net. Not wanting to get in.
ね。いや、今ね。And guys, I've got a little bit to report to, not a lot. I've had a few more little commons down the edge again and on the middle rod. The only problem is I'm nearly out of spod mix, but I've got another two days yet. Nearly out of spod mix. I've got two bags, little bags of mainline self pellets and uh, cell uh, stick mix. So, if I run out, I'll just have to go on to that. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, I've had a couple. I'll be putting pictures up of the fish that I've had. What time is it now? Five to eight. Five to eight, so might get a few more. Probably get a few in the night, hopefully. But a lot of them have uh, packed up across the other side so less lines in the water which is good right so I've, um, I've run out of the uh, particle mix it's uh, Thursday no Friday lost track of days now uh, yeah it's Friday uh, half past three in the afternoon and I've run out of particle mix so I've got some um, sweet corn uh, put a bit of salt in there because um, I'm going to put them in PVA bags they want the PVA bags to melt so I've mixed them in a bit of salt I've got some um, mainline stick bag mix and some uh, response cell pellets so I'm going to mix some of them in stick mix get it open but fix that in at a time never used this stuff before so that's what it's like I'm going to put some of the Binoffi um, mainline liquid in. Give that a bit of a smell in the water. Gradually mix it to how you want it. So it's a bit of a rolls up like that. Nice just to put in a 
PVA bag. So, scoop the bit up. Try and get as tight, tight as you can. Twist it round, get it nice and tight. Stuff like that, job's a good one. Just hook that on the hook, thread it through the hook, that's what I do. Just cast it out, let it fill in, we'll bag another. <laughs> Uh, I don't get much off the bottom and the margins or anything, but there's quite a few shred on the top. So I decided to put a zig on just below the surface and have this little mirror. 11 pounds on the uh, on a zig, black zig, zig liner. Ripped off. Nice little fish. Get her back out. And see if we can catch another one. Right then, guys. So it's um, Saturday morning. My fourth morning, my last last morning. Um, I had one just before dark last night. I think it was eleven eleven pound mirror. Um, nothing through the night, and then uh, about ten to six this morning, the um, middle rod rips off. Um, I was on the spinner rig with the krill chopped down boily. Just a, just a little tiny tiny piece um, it's now half past seven I've only got a couple of hours pack up about three o'clock so uh, see what uh, happens in the next few hours right then got a nice little mirror to show you this is the one down the margin on uh, two pieces of corn on the IQD rig. Not very big, but all welcome. Nice little one there. I didn't bother weighing it. Try and get back in the water quick. I'll show you the other side. Nice little one.
really simple. Sweet corn bird seeds. A little bit of them boiling. A couple of spots each time. There you go, fish. Just keep it topped up. It seems to be working. Well, I'm just um, packing up now. I've had a cracking uh, four days. I got down here on the Tuesday morning just before light, and it's Saturday, two o'clock now. Um, I've had 24 fish. Biggest 172 common, which was a really, really nice fish. Um, I had that on the uh, D rig on two pieces of corn. I had most of them on two pieces of corn. And I had a couple on the uh, Ronnie rig, 20 yards out in front, um, with a uh, pink uh, krill pop up chopped down so it's nice and small. Um, I will be doing more videos, so uh, keep an eye out. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. <laughs>